Hi everybody. Um, I am trying to get into really good uh, television programming. Um, television shows that I may have missed or am late to or are completely over with. Um, if they're critically acclaimed, if they're well received, um, I want to start watching them. Um, and with that being said, um, I saw The Wire entire series for the first time um, recently. And I must say, um, that shit was mesmerizing. I know I'm late to the game with a review of The Wire, um, but it just, it just grabbed you and didn't let go. Um, I will admit, I was like two episodes in, didn't really know the direction where, where they were going. Um, really wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't interesting to me. And then I just kept watching it and it kept like adding on, adding on. And um, I just thought it just was a really realistic take on the drug scene, on um, the police force. And that's why it's critically acclaimed is because uh, it did it as, as most realistic as it could with the Baltimore area scene. And they hired Baltimore actors because it's based in Baltimore and just everything. And um, I just found myself watching three, four, maybe even six episodes a night. I was that, I was that into it for a while. Um, I got it done in about three weeks, all five seasons. That's about 60 episodes. Um, just, in my opinion, just, just really good. I wouldn't say it's the greatest TV show I've seen. I still think, uh, obviously, Breaking Bad, and I, I, I have a personal preference for Nip Talk is up there. But uh, The Wire to me was really entertaining. Uh, Dominic w Dominic West is in it, um, and uh, you know him from from Rockstar. If you've seen Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg, you know him from from a lot of stuff. He was uh, the villain in the recent Punisher movie. Um, he's a, a British actor, um, and then I just I just thought it was just well done. Um, I watched the TV show Bones, and um, the actress that played uh, that really creepy serial killer, I think the Grave Digger, was um, throughout this entire Wire series as a as a lawyer, um, and I thought she did a good job. I think Deidre Lovejoy or something like that. Um, I just thought it was just just really mesmerizing and entertaining. And the fact that Idris Elba was in it before he became big, uh, Wood Harris, um, just, just, uh, I love Idris Elba, and, uh, he's an amazing actor, um, I just, just thought it was just really entertaining, the latter seasons kind of got some, somewhat less realistic, um, but um, I enjoyed the last season with the newspapers uh, behind the scenes of that, with that standpoint. Um, I think they kind of jumped the shark a little bit with the last season when it came to inventing a serial killer that wasn't there. But um, just, just I enjoyed it immensely. I thought it was really entertaining. Uh, if you like cop dramas, uh, definitely check it out. It's, it's, an, it's in HD now. Uh, Omar, Omar was awesome, more than like a, like a, a hood version Robin Hood, um, kind of, kind of sweet and poetic how he, how he went out, um, and just, you know, I just, I just found myself like rooting for both sides, like I got emotionally invested in the cops as well as the drug dealers and helping them trying to get away with it, um, Really didn't. I was more Team Barksdale uh, than than Marlo. I did not like Marlo. I wish Marlo would have gotten murdered. Um, but uh, that's a besides the point. Um, just, just I thought it was really good, um, really entertaining, and uh, check it out if you haven't. I'm about to start House of Cards. Um, heard nothing but good things. I love Kevin Spacey. Um, yeah, and probably after that, um, maybe Boardwalk Empire. Um, Maybe finally getting this Sopranos, um, Shield, maybe. Uh, but um, yeah, if you guys have seen The Wire, tell me what you think of it. 
and also um, I haven't done any like blu-ray updates recently I haven't really bought, been buying blu-rays since I've been unemployed but um, I recently bought uh, Taken 3 it's in the other room I'm not gonna get it you've seen it already um, but I just my real quick synopsis on Taken 3 um, well, least favorite in the series um, still enjoyed it somewhat, but it kind of took me out that they replaced Stewart's actor. The, the character of Stewart was played by somebody else. Um, I have it to complete the collection, mainly to complete the collection. Uh, Taken One will always have a special place in my heart. I love that film. Um, Liam Neeson is just an action hero. He's just awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's just my real quick synopsis of uh, Taken 3 as well. So, tell me what you guys think of both topics. Peace. Bye.